Units of the Russian armed forces advanced another four kilometers overnight and completely took control of Sladke. Currently, scattered groups of the nationalist battalion Donbas are being destroyed. The grouping of troops of the Donetsk People's Republic completes the defeat of the remnants of the 53rd Mechanized Brigade of the Ukrainian armed forces, developing an offensive in Novomikhailovka direction. In total, up to 50 militants, three tanks, four infantry fighting vehicles, two field artillery mounts and four all-terrain vehicles were destroyed in this area overnight. In addition, units of the Donetsk Republic are fighting with units of the 25th Airborne Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces and the capture of the Verkhnetorezka is being completed. In Nikolaevka, in the suburbs of Kiev, Russian servicemen took control of a protected buried command post of the Armed Forces of Ukraine. 61 Ukrainian servicemen of the command post voluntarily surrendered, among them more than half were senior officers of the Armed Forces of Ukraine. On the night of March 21, high-precision air-launched cruise missiles struck the training center for foreign mercenaries and Ukrainian nationalist formations at Nova Lubomirka combined arms training ground in Rovinska region. More than 80 mercenaries and nationalists were killed. Also, high-precision air-launched cruise missiles destroyed an ammunition depot and the headquarters of a mechanized brigade near Selets. A group of night hunters consisting of K-52 and Mi-28N helicopters destroyed eight tanks, four infantry fighting vehicles and three armored personnel carriers during night strikes. Operational tactical and army aviation hit 44 military assets of the Ukrainian armed forces, among them four command posts, two multiple launch rocket systems near Nalivaikovka and Zolochiva, six Buk M1 anti-aircraft missile systems, three artillery mounts near Vyshgorod, four missile and artillery weapons depots, as well as 23 areas of military equipment concentration. Russian air defense means shot down two more Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicles in the air over Chernobyevka and Tsirkuny. In total, 216 unmanned aerial vehicles, 180 anti-aircraft missile systems, 1,506 tanks and other armored combat vehicles, 152 multiple launch rocket systems, 592 field artillery and mortars, as well as 1,284 units of special military vehicles of the armed forces of Ukraine were destroyed during the operation. In Sumy, a planned provocation of Ukrainian nationalists was carried out at night. The Russian Defense Ministry officially warned about this provocation a few days ago. According to the head of Sumy Regional Administration, there was an ammonia leak at Sumy Himprom plant. There is no threat to the residents of Sumy, since the air masses were moving not towards the city. Let me remind you that back on March 19, we officially warned about the mining of this enterprise by Ukrainian nationalists to commit a provocation in order to accuse Russia of allegedly using chemical weapons. I want to emphasize once again that the armed forces of the Russian Federation have not planned and are not striking any Ukrainian facilities for the storage or production of toxic substances. The coordinates of all such objects and data on the toxic substances stored there on the territory of Ukraine were obtained by us during the seizure of the combat documentation of the 4th Brigade of the Ukrainian National Guard. The Kyiv nationalist regime is directly responsible for any possible incidents with Ukrainian storage facilities of toxic substances.